What's good YouTube? It's your boy Mo, Mr. Mo Life himself. Back with another video. Today I got the Hellcat Red Eye in the back. It's Big Red, baby, Big Red. So today, look what came in. We got the cold air intake over here, the course of performance. Got my little helper right here. Got my second little helper right here too. It just came from daycare and he just came from school. But as you can see, red eye activity. And as you can see this, uh, the factory air intake is a little used, a little used already. So we about to uh, replace it with a brand new one. You know what I'm saying? They say it is easy to install. So, hey man, we're about to get to it. I'm about to uh, let y'all see what it sounds like before and then we can do it after, okay? sound but uh, it's, it's really loud yeah <laughs> did you notice the intake the the wine did you hear anything it was it was kind of it was kind of loud you still can hear it man you, you no matter what you still gonna hear that supercharged wine but i'm about to go ahead and install the new one right here and then we're gonna compare the uh the sound and and i'm uh go ride in it we're gonna go take a ride in and see if there's a difference in the acceleration y'all and so. how many miles ago yeah, yeah. <laughs> my kids lost my scissors, y'all. So my hair opening up with a knife. So I'm good. What do you mean the truck? Oh yeah. Where that thing that goes in there. So what does it look like? Alright, little pieces right here. We gotta put it together. Put the uh, heat shield heat shield together first. Oh, that's a heat shield. Before you install it. There's a the carbon fi uh, fiber piece to the uh, cold air intake. Pretty light. It's nice. It's gonna look nice in the uh, in the engine bay. It'll look nice. <clears throat> Let me look at the uh, instructions first to take off the intake. Disconnect electrical wire. Remove three 10 millimeter nuts. I'm about to remove three uh, 10 millimeter nuts on the crankcase. Um, disconnect the electrical connection. And then disconnect the crankcase. Looks pretty easy, man. I'm about to take apart the cold air intake, the factory one. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and get that out of the way. All right, YouTube, I need a uh, heat gun for this part to take this connection line off. This man, it's pretty stuck so I seen on YouTube that they use the heat gun to loosen it up to take it off so I need to go get my heat gun out of storage to complete this so we're gonna pause right here and you know and pick back up once I get get my heat gun y'all yep what's good YouTube all right the next day I went to the storage unit and got my heat gun I actually went yesterday but it was closed and I actually forgot the code to get in the gate so Got everything figured out today. I got the heat gun, so I'm about to prepare the cold air intake first before I unplug everything in the engine because I gotta go get my son from the daycare. So I'm about to get into it right now, y'all, and you know what I'm saying, get this install completed.
I'm gonna come back to you guys after I install this, man, because it's gonna take me a little while. All right, YouTube, I'm trying to put the lining on the heat box right here. This is the last, bro, it's very difficult right here. You see this part right here? Man, because it's, it's like a straight, straight corner and man, it's being very difficult, but it's, that's it, man. Once I get that part down, then shoot, I can just, you know what I'm saying, bolt on the rain guard, you know what I'm saying, and the filter and the, the hosing. And that'd be it. It's just this last, this one corner right here, man. It's been, and then you know, I'm trying to be gentle with the, the heat, heat box, you know what I'm saying? So let me get this part, y'all. Look at it on, boy. God, oh. So push it down, make sure everything's stay in place. That shit was the most difficult part. This is, y'all want to see it, you know what I'm saying, what we got put together so far. It's going to look pretty good, man, once I drop this thing in there, man. Can you take them off? Hello! <laughs> so, are you going to Oh, yeah. All right, y'all. Woo! Got the air box up out of there. That shit was a bitch to get up out of there. What the fuck? All right, YouTube got the factory air box out of there. Finally. Okay, finally. Here it is over here. I got to take a like, piece off of that. I got to heat it up and then uh, take that tubing off to fit on the new one. That was done? Almost was. All right, YouTube, I got the hosing put together, man. Now all I got to do is connect everything and... I we have one more part to do. All right, y'all, I'm connecting everything now, so. Um. All right, YouTube, I just finished the uh, install, man. I'm about to give the car a crank and then let y'all hear the aftermath, man. <laughs> Guys, I'm about to put this thing in track, man, and go give it a few passes. But well, we better go test it out. Test it out. You definitely can hear the, the whine louder, way louder. 
Yep. Oh. <laughs> is, it li is the wine louder, bud? Yep. What you think? Uh, this one's louder than the first. Okay, okay. Definitely louder, y'all. The police right there, so I can I can barely get into it, but yeah. Definitely. Nice. I like it, y'all. I like it. Girl, the police. Go 12 right there, y'all. Oh, I'm gonna give y'all some down shifts. I like this. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I like that. I like that. You like it, Mo? Mm -hmm sound way louder y'all definitely can tell a big difference for real for real. all right youtube as you can see man it's a noticeable difference man it sound way louder in the driver's seat for real for real. and the acceleration is just a little quicker too y'all so hey man the coarser uh performance intake is a little pricey but hey it's well worth the money man for real for real because I noticed right off the back, man, as soon as I hit the gas, man, I'm telling you, you can hear the super chime, supercharger whine. Like, right off the back, you can hear the supercharger whine like crazy, man. The uh, video don't do it, uh, do no justice because you can't really tell, but inside the cockpit, bruh, it go crazy. So, I hope y'all enjoyed this content, man. Hey, I'm ready to drop more uh, content for y'all. Uh, Mopar lovers, man, appreciate y'all for tuning in. Go like, comment, share, and subscribe, man. Y'all take it easy.